The Fremen are natives who live on the desert planet Arrakis. The Harkonnen are big meanies who rule the planet and harvest spice, the most valuable substance in the universe. The Big Boss Emperor has ordered the Harkonnen to leave. This kid Paul is the Prince of House Atreides. He has wet dreams about a girl in Arrakis. His mother Jessica tries to teach him powers from a sort of kind of maybe religious cult, the Bene Gesserit. One of those powers is the voice. It can be used to turn into people's moms and give them orders. Spice is basically NZT-48 from Limitless. It extends life and unsmooths your brain and it's necessary for interstellar travel. Paul's father Leto receives an envoy from the Emperor to officialize the transfer of Arrakis from the Harkonnen to Atreides. Paul tries to convince Duncan to go to Arrakis early, but he refuses. Paul tries to convince Leto to go to Arrakis early, but he refuses. Leto explains that the Emperor set them up against the Harkonnen to weaken both houses because he'd be jealous. Leto wants to build an alliance with the Fremen to harness their desert power. Jessica's teacher, a reverend mother, shows up to test Paul by putting his hand in a toaster and sticking a poison needle in his neck if he fails. Jessica thinks Paul might be the Poisat Hadak, a prophetic big brain who can bridge space and time or whatever. The Atreides get to Arrakis and the locals chant Lisa Al Gaib when seeing Paul, which means Messiah. A hunter seeker drone tries to off Paul, but he catches it like Mr. Miyagi with a fly. The Baron Harkonnen is what you meant will look like in a few years. He promises the Reverend Mother not to kill Jessica and Paul when they attack and she believes him. Duncan returns after living with a Fremen and he has no beard yes, now. They pilot dragonfly planes to a spice mining vehicle. The vehicle attracts a sandworm and the carryall fails, of course. They save the miners, but Paul starts stripping balls because of spice. At night, Leto discovers Mapes was stabbed and is hit with a dart paralyzing him. The Doc is a traitor? He turned off the shields and cut off communications. The Baron promised to give his wife back if he helped him and the Doc believed him. He replaces one of Leto's teeth with a fake one that will shoot poison gas when bit. The Harkonnen are helped by the Emperor's army, the Sardaukar, and the Atreides get stomped. Paul and Jessica awaken in a ship, the Harkonnen want to dump them in the desert so as to not kill them. Paul uses the voice to ungag his mom and Jessica voices the Harkonnen to death. The Baron generously sends a dog to his wife. In the afterlife, Leto bites a tooth and spits the gas everywhere but the Baron survives by acting like a possessed little girl in a horror movie. Paul trips more balls in a tent about a war spreading throughout the universe. Duncan manages to escape the shit show and finds Paul and Jessica. He brings them to an abandoned building thing. The Sardaukar show up and Duncan goes out like a beast, allowing Paul and Mama to escape in the dragonfly. A sandstorm fucks up their ship and they crash in the desert. They try to find the Fremen by foot but a worm wants to give them a kiss and they barely escape on a rock. The Fremen capture them and want to kill Jessica but they soon realize she's a badass Bene Gesserit and they decide to bring them to their siege. One guy doesn't agree and challenges Paul. Johnny, the girl from his dreams, gives him a knife from the sandworm tooth. Paul smokes the other guy and they all leave for their siege. Happy middle of the story. <laughs>